Good evening, friends. I understand you've gathered in New Hampshire tonight to celebrate the 42nd anniversary of my 39th birthday. Jokes about being old from an old president. Tonight is a very special night for me. Of course, at my age, every night's a special night. As soon as I get home to California, I plan to lean back, kick up my feet, and take a long nap. Well, come to think of it, things won't be all that different after all. I just didn't like retirement. Took all the fun out of Saturdays. The 44th anniversary of my 39th birthday. Harry also said that preparing me for a press conference was like reinventing the wheel. It's not true. I was around when the wheel was invented and it was easier. He had a bit of a jump on me. He wrote in the 14th century, which doesn't make us contemporaries. Ever since Matthew Brady took his stirring pictures of Abe Lincoln in the Civil War, photographs have been imparting immediacy to American news. And it isn't true that I carried Brady's camera. American history book. And I was startled to see that it took almost 400 pages to tell the story of our nation. When I was your age, it only took a two, two stone tablets. <laughs> Hasn't been a transition like this since Inauguration Day in 1837, when Andrew Jackson turned the keys to the store over to Martin Van Buren. And no, I don't remember that day. <laughs> When you get to be my age, you don't remember anything that recent. <laughs> or as another Republican president might have put it, four months and seven years ago. You know, I've waited 125 years to say that. <laughs> I can still remember my first Republican convention. Abraham Lincoln giving a speech that... How did Ronald Reagan handle the age issue? By telling jokes, as you'll hear in the latest episode of C-SPAN's podcast, The Weekly. Find C-SPAN's The Weekly wherever you get podcasts. The Weekly! I am not going to exploit, for political purposes, my opponent's youth and inexperience. <laughs>